What's going on everybody, Jade up here. Today's video, um, we're gonna be talking about Minor Brittle. What is it? What does it do? Um, how do you apply it? And uh, how do you keep a good uptime on it? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Um, so first things first, let's go ahead and read what it says from the patch notes. So what is Minor Brittle? Minor Brittle is a new status effect that is getting introduced into the upcoming DLC Mark Arth, which is going to open up a new area called The Reach, which is going to be south of Western Skyrim, east of Bankerai, and north of Craglorn, if you don't know uh, where that is. Uh, I'll be showing you on the map. Obviously, it's on the top northwestern side of the map. <clears throat> it's got the new arena here um this is the dlc that's being um that's introducing minor brittle okay so let's go ahead and talk about minor brittle uh again it is a status uh, it is a status effect i would consider it a buff uh what it does is it increases the target's critical damage taken by 10 percent. so i guess it's kind of like a buff debuff um that's minor brittle major brittle is the exact same thing except it does 20 percent it says it's not yet sourced as in there is no way to apply it yet but we can kind of guesstimate what um how it's going to be applied i'm guessing that if they come up with a new class next year uh, it could potentially be that new class is ultimate you know, it also could be, um, it, it could be permafrost here. It could be added to permafrost, one of the morphs. Uh, it could be, um, you know, dis destruction staff, the ultimate there. It could be applied there. Uh, it, it's totally up to, obviously, it's totally up to them on how they're going to apply it. They just don't know yet uh, what class is going to apply it. So Major Brutal is not in the game. Currently, at least there's no way to um, apply it. But minor brittle, there is. So that's what minor brittle is. Increases the target's critical damage by 10%. Now let's go ahead and look at how to apply it. Applying chilled while actively holding a frost staff now applies minor brittle. In addition to its other effects. Note that the staff must be on your active bar when chilled is applied for this to proc. So... To kind of like dumb this down just even more. To apply minor brittle, you must have an ice staff equipped. And you must be trying to apply a chilled effect. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and look first what applies chilled. Things that apply chilled are anything, anything in the game that deals frost damage. So, it could be item sets, um, monster sets, you know, your 5P set, uh, monster sets, you know, such as Ice Heart. Uh, do I have Ice Heart? Let me use, nope, I don't have Ice Heart, but I can show you, I can show you uh, what Ice Heart is. Ice heart. Uh, as you can see, it. So in the middle of this right here, uh, while the damage shield holds, you deal X frost damage to all enemies within five meters of you every one second. So the way to apply chilled is to deal frost damage. So this is where wardens really shine because they have in uh winner's embrace you know winner's revenge uh polar wind i actually believe this morph does frost damage as well um the ultimate does frost damage i actually doesn't doesn't frozen gate does frost damage too i'm pretty sure it does right yeah it does so literally they have an entire 
um, entire skill tree that does only frost damage. Are you going to be using all of those? Probably not. So, again, the only way to apply chilled is to do frost damage. So you got frost, you know, frost reach, which is going to be changed into a taunt if you use destructive clench, which is the other morph. Um, Polar winds does frost damage. Pulsar does frost damage. You got permafrost doing frost damage. Blockade, if you have an ice staff, equip does frost damage. Uh, Winner's revenge, obviously as well. Uh, there, there's a lot of uh, abilities um, for the warden. There are some sets as well, like I said, Ice Heart, Frozen Watchers, just some examples thrown out there. They apply, um, they have a chance to apply the chilled status effect. So now that we know how to apply a chilled status effect, we can kind of talk about how to apply Minor Brittle. Now again, it did say in the notes that while you are applying chilled status effect, you have to have the frost staff equipped on your bar when you're trying to chill something uh, for it to apply minor brittle. So what that means is if I'm using frost clench to apply a chilled status effect, uh, obviously I'm going to have an ice staff equipped for that. Um, that has a higher chance that will have a chance of applying the brittle. Um, let's say that I only want to use Winter's Reach, uh, but I have an Ice Staff. Yes, it has a chance to apply that Chilled Status effect. Um, so you have to have that Ice Staff equipped to be able to apply the Brittle while you're trying to apply that status, uh, that Chilled effect. So hopefully that clears up how to kind of do that. We talked about how to apply a chilled status effect. Let's go ahead and look at what this looks like. Let's, um, so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this group of ads and I'm just going to hold block because of Frozen Watchers set. What Frozen Watchers does is it summons a blizzard around you while you're holding block. Uh, and it has a chance to uh, affect the enemies with the chilled effect as a 15% chance. This is what it looks like. Okay, hopefully you guys uh, see that. Let's go ahead and go in here and just hold block. So what we're looking at is uh, underneath where it says Jackal up on the top of the screen, we're looking at that blue hand. That blue hand is the brittle um, icon to the right of that is main that is minor main uh, minor main obviously you guys should know what it is uh, but minor brittle is being applied to most of these ads if not all of them I mean I'm, I'm looking at most of them right now uh, there's only one left but uh, it should have been like a pretty decent uptime let's go ahead and check it out Minor Brittle, 92%. Let's go ahead and look at each individual ad. 96, 90, 91, 90. Uh, obviously, these guys died really quick. Uh, but as you can see, Minor Brittle was up 96%. That's actually pretty good. So, <clears throat> that's how you that's how you can do that with Frozen Watchers. Um, and that's just kind of how what that looks like. Now, let's go ahead and use some abilities. I'm going to try not to hold on actually to not hold block i'm gonna take off one set that way i that way i'm holding block i can't apply it swap bars so you guys can see that okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into this group of ads i'm gonna lay down winner's revenge i'm gonna throw down blockade i'm gonna hit my heel and then hit pulsar i'm gonna see uh, just kind of I'm gonna try and like hover over each of these ads to see if that uh, minor brittle is gonna be applied very quickly or not so let's go into it a winner's revenge blockade heal and pulse okay those guys died really quick <laughs> all right well let's just go ahead and look at and uh, and see what the uptime is on that so we're looking at 65% we got 90% on one 69 on another and 51% on this other one there is one ad up here let's go ahead and do the exact same here so winners whoops I hit the wrong button 
As you can see, it just got applied. As soon as I hit Pulsar, it just got applied. Let's go ahead and look at the uptime. It shouldn't be that great. Yeah, 58%. Not too, not too shabby. Uh, obviously, could have been a little bit better. For sure. There is one way 100% of the time to apply it to at least one single target. And we'll talk about that. There's a scorpion that's going to be right over here. Let's go ahead and get closer to it. So that we can, uh, we can check it out. Okay. So. If you want to consistently apply minor brittle, there's one sure way to do it. And that's going to be using frost reach or destruct destructive clench. Uh, either one of the morphs here in the destruction uh, tree here, this morph here, uh, this morph or the other one, totally up to you which one you want to use. The other morph is actually going to taunt the add. So if you're an off tank in a trial, um, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want to keep pulling the boss. This is actually going to be a really good, um, a really good alternative so that you can constantly keep applying minor brittle. If that's how your group wants to do that. If you're the main tank, you obviously probably want to, um, you probably want to apply the other, you probably want to use the other morph. So with that being said, uh, we are going to use frost, re uh, frost reach on this scorpion that shouldn't be where, where the hell is it at there it is okay so we're gonna use it on that bad boy there now the way to consistently apply this and apply this minor brittle immediately is uh having a charge frost staff with a frost damage enchant on it and that's gonna 100 percent apply this uh minor brittle effect as you can see here we go i'm gonna immediately what i'm gonna do is I'm going to immediately go in. I'm going to hit it with Frost Clench. And then I'm going to lay down my uh, one with Revenge, Blockade, and then I'm going to hit Pulsar with that bad boy. Let's go ahead and kill these adds here. Actually, let's all hit ulti this as well. Just to kind of like get rid of these dudes. Alright, they're done. All right, once this permafrost is done, okay, let's go ahead and go in now. As you can see, it just got applied. All right, he died really quickly because he sucks. All right, get wrecked, Scorpion, loser. All right, so uh, as you can see, the uptime on the one Scorpion was 100%, and that's going to be the best way to apply minor brittle and keep that uptime really really high minor brittle is going to be the same uptime as your chilled status effect chilled status effect lasts four seconds the minor main that comes with it is four seconds let me see if i can there actually is another ad over here uh where's the one ad okay yeah. so there's one ad over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, it's not up yet. What? Okay. Uh, is there another one? Um, I just want to find one ad. I get. I guess we can do it here. So we're gonna keep an eye on this one, and this is the only one that we're gonna attack, right? So as you can see, it immediately swapped to three seconds. There we go. That's a, actually a four second. So let's go ahead and look at this guy here too. That's actually going to be four seconds because zero counts as a second uh, in the game. So we're looking at it. Three, two, one, zero. Where's the other guy? There he is. Oh, it's a so weird. It didn't apply. So the, the maim, uh, as you can see in the center there with the broken sword, that's actually minor maim and that is also being applied as well so when you apply the um the brittle it's on it, it should apply the minor maim as well because you can't apply minor maim or excuse me you cannot apply minor brittle without applying the chilled status effect which is uh minor maim as well until they take uh one of those until until they take minor maim out uh, that's just how it's going to be 
Uh, so it's, it is going to be four seconds. Uh, how long? That's how long it's going to last. Um, so you could potentially run Ice Staff Back Bar. Uh, the only problem with that is if you're less experienced uh, with that, it's going to be what's the word it's going to be very interesting to see the uptimes uh for people running just single ice staff back bars uh because what you're gonna have to do it's gonna be so weird um what i think is probably gonna happen there's so many different ways right i think the most consistent way is running double ice staff as an off tank in a trial setting in a dungeon setting it doesn't matter what the hell you do but in a trial setting, you're, I, I think the most consistent way is having an off tank with uh, double ice staff. Now, uh, that's if your group wants it. Uh, you could potentially run sword and board front bar and then ice staff back bar. Uh, and then obviously put something like this on here uh, or, or, or whatever. It, it would be something like this in a boss fight. Potentially, uh, you would lay down your blockade. Or lay on your your clench, or lay on your blockade, go back to your front bar, do whatever you got to do, swap back, you know, when you're one seconds up, and then you could do it that way, or, you know, you could just keep the, you know, keep the up times up, keep keep the frost damage here, and then just hope that it keeps getting applied. Um, it, it's it's going to be very interesting to see what players do uh, and how they're going to keep this up if that's what your group is going to want to do. Uh, I think for potentially... Let, let me put the boost back on. I think potentially for a lot of progression groups uh, that are trying to complete certain trials and their raid lead really wants you to run Minor Brutal. I think running in trash pools, uh, potentially running this frozen watcher is going to be a good idea. Uh, and that's going to not 100% apply it, but it's it's pretty close. It's I mean, you have a 15% chance to apply it while you're holding block. And uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll honestly see. I don't want to keep talking about it. Literally up to your raid lead. Uh, if you want to get super sweaty with it, uh, I'm sure somebody's going to come out with some super sweaty um, strats on it. Uh, I think the most easiest and consistent way is going to be running a double ice staff warden. I think it's just going to be um, 10 times easier to keep it up that way. Ma mainly, with, mainly with these two abilities here that you have. You know, it just it just makes sense. That way, you still have your healers running whatever, uh, and then your main tank running whatever kind of crap they want to run. So we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to go over the brittle. You know what it is, how to apply it, what's the easiest way to apply it, and how how to keep it up. Uh, and the best way to keep it up, honestly, is with frost reach for single target. With ad pulls, pulsars really, really good. Um, obviously, any kind of frost damage you do is going to keep that damage up, or going to keep that potentially going to keep that uh, brittle up. But keep in mind that you have to have an ice staff equipped when applying that shield effect. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped you guys out some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm not running anything special on this build. I just put on some gear to to kind of mess with it uh yeah so yeah hopefully this video helped you guys out in some way shape or form kind of understanding what brittle is how how it works and all that stuff um and yeah well we'll see you in the next video